With release 2.3 of Mango, we've changed the way that regions of interest are represented and stored. We're now stored as 8-bit images, and each bit is a bit plane representing a specific color from the list of ROIs. Additionally, if you go to the File menu, now we no longer have the Import or Export ROI, the Load ROIs, or the Save ROIs. So we sort of simplified that. Let me load some ROIs to demonstrate some of the other features. And we'll start with this fellow. Here we have eight different regions of interest loaded, and we wanted to select the green one down here where everything was overlapped. It would be a bit of a problem, but we've changed something to make that easier. Whenever you select a color, it now brings that color to the front, and now you can select that color only in the midst of all the other overlapping colors. Likewise, we'll pick another color, so forth. Another change in ROI selection, you'll notice, set this back to red, you'll notice if I press the shift key, the cursor represent, representation changes to a selection rectangle, and now I can select whatever ROIs that are inside the rectangle. It'll honor this color if, it, if that is the one selected. So since the new regions of interest are actually images, they're listed differently now in the image browser. Notice this is the ROI that I indicated. If we click on it, we see what we get a preview of the image, and we can actually open it. And the nice thing now is, as an image, the bit planes are actually interpreted as numbers. So we get a variety of numbers where they overlap. And if we go to the histogram to take a look, we set the range up right to cover eight bits worth, and we'll start it. Well, make it be 64. We'll start at one and calculate it. Now we can see the volume of overlap of various combinations of regions. And as we highlight things, we use shift drag, and also we can look at two see where the big changes were. So this new way of representing uh, ROIs as images is quite nice. Uh, here's the con a convex hull region of interest. And this works very good as just a single mass. Notice that inside the ROI is 1 and outside is 0. So the new types of ROI saves uh, allow us to use them as mask in FSL and select whichever region we want to be the mask. It also simplifies working with ROIs of various colors. Uh, I'll show you one other example. So we'll open this image and load it a bit. We'll load an ROI for it. And we'll start with the, this is a shrink wrap ROI. In red, if I load another ROI, I think it's convex hull, its color is preserved. So when we load the second ROI, it had no red, uh, so it zeroed that out. Uh, but it showed you that the ROI was set originally saved as green and the color is preserved. If you want both at the same time, when you define them, assign them to different colors, and generally it's best to designate both the file name, and here we show. So red is at the forefront, green is at the front, so it's easy, easy to select. Otherwise, it would be relatively hard to make the selection. So we see that the new ROIs in Mango give us a lot of new features. Uh, we do support the old ROIs. And as you save ROIs, they'll be converted to the new type.